I was very green in Glasgow, mate. That was my first games. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, I was a different character back then. I kind of uh, was very new to the world of shot put. I had a very good start to the year uh, in, in 20, 2014. I uh, was getting my first ever uh, world championship medal indoors. Um, and uh, I just didn't really know a lot, mate. You know, I was, I was uh, 22, uh, quite young, and, um, but you know, still loved throwing shot and, and, and nothing's changed in terms of that. I still love throwing shot. I still love the chase of, 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 of uh, that perfect throw. Uh, I probably have a lot more confidence now than, than what I did back then. Um, but I think me as a guy hasn't changed a lot apart from the confidence and understanding uh, what I need to do to, to be in that uh, world-class shape on a more constant basis. And, and I think that's what I've been doing over the last, uh, especially over the last two years. Uh, you know, I, I, I haven't had any bad, bad results um, or any bad, bad throws really in competition. So it's just, you know, uh, time out in the middle, mate. It's a good cricket term, isn't it, that? Uh, and, and just understanding what I need to do to, to get into the right shape. Because you're the rock star of this team now, aren't you? Oh, I don't know about that. I think Dame Villar Adams is still the rock star. You know, you can't can't take that away from her. Uh, and we've still got obviously Nick Willis, who's a legend still, and and, uh, and Eliza as well, who who both me and her are the young and up and coming ones. Um, so it must feel a bit different though, does it? I mean, given what you've done over the, the last year or two. Yeah. Well, I, I got a text from Val actually after I won World Indoors, and she goes, "Well done. You've only got another three World Indoor titles to go." Uh, two Olympic golds and three world champs. So good luck. <laughs> so no, she's definitely uh, she's definitely captain. She's uh, she's she's a gun. She's what she's done for athletics um, and what she's done for shot put in New Zealand is huge. Does she put you in line every now and then? Does she? Oh yeah, you, you know her. You know, yeah. You can't if you step out of line with her. You definitely know about it. But me and Val have a great relationship, and and uh, I think I'm, for some reason I give her the most shit out of anyone, and tend to get away with it the most. <laughs> Because you've, you've, you obviously did a bit of training with her and, and yeah. around the place, but you're, you've been in top top form yeah. this year. I mean, it, it, I mean, it, is there any secret to it? Or no, it's just it's about being boring, actually. Uh, about you know sticking to my routines. You know, whether it's getting up in the morning, doing my stretching routine, eating the right meals at the right times, uh, going to training, doing the right prehab before training, or doing the right rehab after training, whatever it is. Um, just doing the little bits and pieces. And look. I, I live the dream, I really do. I, I love what I do. I get to travel the world and, and throw a ball and I get paid for it. It's bloody great. But, um, you know, there's no secret, mate. It's just about those wee kind of finite, the, the small, sorry, the small details that, that I, I've kept on putting in over the year, last, last four or five years. And it's all just continuously now starting to pay off um, with me getting into that shape that I need to get into to throw far. I mean, you often talk about needing to be relaxed rather than mm. thinking about throwing far. Yeah. But do you think back on that throw sort of a, a week, ten days ago, mm. because that was what a PB for you? Yeah. Um, as to what mindset? Do, do you, I mean, do you sit there and reflect on on that quite oh, a bit? Oh, for sure. We we I, I, we talk about what type of uh, mindset I was in when I threw, what type of mindset I was in, and uh, compared to the other throws that didn't quite go as well. Um, and so you've got to reflect on the good things. You've also got to reflect on the bad things as well. Uh, and, and I know that I'm in better shape again than what I was last week uh, in Auckland. Do, have you found anything that you think might be tick a box or go, yeah, hey, that was that was what I need to do? Uh, no, mate. No, look, I know the one thing I need to do is, is I need to be relaxed. I, I can't try. And as soon as I start trying, it's no good. Uh, so as if I can let the river flow uh, and don't push the river, mate, it, I'll be fine. Now, you often have a few bets with your with your yeah. coach. Um, what, what are some of the ones you've uh, had, a, had a few? Uh... Uh, Dale, uh, we've had a bunch over the years actually. Before even we um, we started to get a coach athlete relationship, we, we trained together a little bit. Um, so you know, we he had to throw in a G string one day. Uh, he's also a bit short on hair on the top, so he had to grow his hair out for a year. Uh, he's got the mutton chops on at the moment because he lost a bit at indoors. I've had got a tattoo on my foot. Uh, and there's what did a you have to get? What tattoo? Oh, did it's just, a, just something between me and Dale, mate. Uh, all it had to be, it had to be visible in barbecue attire. So if you see me with jandals on, you'll see it. Um, but uh, yeah, so look, it just brings a bit of fun, you know, like major championships are, are, are why we do it. Um, but sometimes they can become really serious. Uh, and uh, and the bet kind of makes it a little bit more light-hearted. Uh, you know, that's why I was so excited about my, my last round throw in, indoors because uh, I, I PB'd and I needed to PB and win for him to, to grow the mutton chops. So I wasn't excited that I PB'd and won. I was excited that he had to grow mutton chops in the next nine months. And for, for the Gold Coast? Uh, we haven't come to it yet. It'll be a discussion today and tomorrow. Usually they are set 
reason, like on the last day, um, and, and we come to an agreement. It's pretty easy usually, but uh, there'll be something. And just just finally, your m main competitors. Where, where do you see your, the the closest oh, rivals I think, going? I, well, uh, Commonwealth Games shot put has stepped up, uh, you know, massively. Now. Uh, Dale actually won a bronze medal in 2010 in Delhi uh, with 1999. Um, for Australia, uh, and now you know this year you, you will get bronze with maybe 2070, uh, and obviously that Commonwealth Games record was pushed out last time we were here, um, so the standard has just live, risen dramatically. I think O'Dane Richards, who won it last time around, you never know what he's going to do. He he comes out of the blue and throws far. Uh, Tim Nair, the, the Canadian guy, um, is another 21 metre thrower. Uh, there's a South African Aragio, um and Damien Birkenhead, the Aussie guy as well, the 21 metre guy. So there's three or four guys there who can who can throw well into the 21s. And I know if I don't have a good day, they'll they'll be right there to beat me.